After being stuck in bad weather in Maratea, we now set off towards the Messina Strait in the most lovely conditions. This narrow water separates Sicily from mainland Italy. It is heavily trafficated by ferries and is famous for difficult conditions caused by tidal streams and the fact that the differences in the water between Tyrrhenian Sea and Ionian Sea lead to a current and also that wind can funnel up here. Throughout history it's been greatly feared, but with the awareness and planning it should be handleable for most sailors. This has been a really beautiful day. The sun is out, the swell starts to come down more and more and we can have a little bit of power from the sail, but uh, I think I'm watering still. And finally Gunnar caught something on the fishing rod. What the past plastic bag? At least we are cleaning up the ocean a little bit. It got a little bit rougher today than we expected from the forecast. We were three boats leaving at the same time for the same destination and we all consider the forecast to be uh, uh, a very calm day to mainly be motoring but we ended up in uh, having a closed hole in uh, 25 knots of wind and uh, about one meter of uh, waves so it's been a bit wet <laughs> got our first reef in the main and a bit of rain in the Genoa now it starts to come down a bit actually so now we have about 18 to 20 knots against us but we are closing up on our destination, only have about two hours left to go. We made a short stop in the lovely town Tropea with the best marina we've seen in Italy. Today we are heading for the Messina Strait. At least for the entrance. We were thinking of going maybe all the way through but uh, the wind forecast keeps changing all the time so we're not really sure if we're gonna meet the wind and uh, there's uh, quite a few things to think about when entering the strait so the current is the first and uh, we are not too far away from spring tide which means we have still fairly strong currents so we think uh, the forecast is up to four knots at the peak uh, and then the timing is uh, we can enter about uh, 11.30 and we will have the current with us until about 6. But if the wind keeps coming against uh, the current with this strong current, that won't be any good. So we have a, like a backup plan to go to the first marina at the entrance or to go to the second marina, which is like in the middle of the street. Uh, and beyond that, it's uh, about 60 five miles to Rochella so it's fairly long uh, so we're not really sure how to do but this far we have almost no wind and uh, the sea is uh, almost flat uh, a little bit of an old swell but uh, so far we're doing good uh, and the other thing is that um, there's very different information if you have to call the coast guard before entering or not but we want to stay on the east side because we're going east afterwards and the marinas are on the east side which uh, of course is the wrong side of the strait uh, but as we understand if we go outside of the traffic zones we can do it but uh, yesterday we got the information that we need to call ahead uh, again we called them yesterday uh, so hopefully it's going to be fine 
uh, but we're gonna go a little bit closer uh, then make the call and hope we are allowed to stay on the east uh, shoreline The strait is 20 miles long, but the southern part broad enough and causes less problems. But we were gonna enter from north. At first it seemed very calm and we had a good downstream. We started to have some more wind and the water looked like it was beginning to boil around us. It didn't take long until we had big whirlpools everywhere and at the same time we got into a counter current that made us go only two knots forward at full speed. On top of that, it seemed like it was suddenly ferries everywhere and the ferry coming fast here. There is so many ferries. It's a bit stressful because we are also on the wrong side. So, uh, uh, and of course we have to keep out of the way from all the ferries, no matter what they do. So one, we uh, took a turn to await and then this one going out, but uh, maybe we think it's gonna turn as well. And then this one <laughs> over there coming in. Starts to be interesting. Since we were at the port inlet, it's not very predictable how the ferries will go. We're normally not very easily stressed, but this really needed our attention. From here, we decided to take a break. It's time for our next stop at the Messina Strait. So we left really early this morning and uh, I hope we might come to Rochella before the marina closes at 6. Uh, I don't think we will, but at the moment we have actually we should have slack, but then start to have current against us. But we took a chance to leave anyway because it's widening up. Uh, but we're making 6.4 knots at the moment, so uh, I still uh, think it's uh, beneficial with the current. So let's hope it will continue like this.
a long day we were so happy to have some pilot whales with us in the sunset. jumping a lot but they are here oh they come in here I think so It's so hard to catch on film when they come up it's just for a little moment they are spraying and they are tossing themselves there's one yes oh it sprays If you like this episode, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Join us next week.